Hey guys, welcome to New York Giants Full Access. First NFL 2024 New York Giants Full 7 round mock draft for the 2024 season. Hey, the combine just ended. We've seen a lot of guys uh, up their draft stock. We've seen a lot of guys draft stock fall. So we'll see what we do. But this is the first mock draft, so tune in. Let's get into it. With the fifth pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the New York Football Giants select. Welcome to New York Giants, Mock Draft Central. With the number six pick in the NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Malik Neighbors, wide receiver, LSU. All right, with the number six pick, the New York Giants selected Malik Neighbors, wide receiver, from LSU, man, and this guy will be receiver number one for the New York Giants. And we've gone a couple of years and we've missed out on a couple of receiver ones, but this year is different. We go ahead and get our receiver one for whoever the quarterback is, man. And Malik Neighbors, he's a route runner. He has the speed. He has the receiver awareness. He has the hands. He, he has the moxie. He is a number one receiver and he is a complete dog. And he came out and said it that the New York Giants want some dogs on the field on offense, and he fits the mold. I mean, he, he went in college, man, over 80 receptions, over 1,000 yards, and it's been an absolute staple for the LSU offense over the past couple of years. And this guy is truly amazing. He will be our number one receiver. Imagine him on the field with Jalen Hyatt, with Wondell Robinson, with Darren Waller. If he decides to return, he's to contemplating retirement. But if not, we still have Darius Slayton. We still have people uh, on the bench like, uh, I forgot the guy's name that we drafted last year, but he got hurt in the preseason. We got him in there. Man, we have a lot of, of number twos and number threes on this team, but we finally get our number one. And Malik Neighbors, and man, this guy is just as dynamic as advertised. He's going to be dynamite on, on, on this team, and we can use him in a slot. We can use him as an outside receiver. He is worth the number six pick. If we do not trade up or trade back, this is the guy that I do believe the New York Giants will target at number six, Malik Neighbors. Welcome to the New York Giants, and you're our number one receiver, man. Hit some of them double moves and let's get some touchdowns. With the 39th pick in the NFL draft, the New York Giants select cornerback Iowa State, TJ Tampa. All right, as you heard, the Giants with the number 39 pick in this year's draft select cornerback TJ Tampa from Iowa State. And man, this guy is an exciting exciting prospect for me put him on opposite of, of Deontay Banks 6-1 nine force incompletions two interceptions man and he's just a physical 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 specimen at the cornerback position man and if we can have two physical guys on the outside we can do some things man we get this pass rush straight and we get us a, a pass rush going man there's nothing that we can't do um, on the defensive side of the ball, man. This guy, he's not very handsy, but he is a man-to-man -man cut uh, corner. And with the new scheme that will be coming over from the Tennessee Titans, man, we they, they always have very good corners and safeties. And, man, if we can get that free, ed free agent pass rusher that we are predicted to get this offseason, where it's Dan Danielle Hunter or Brian Burns breaking news with him, he's a... Uh, not being franchise tag man if we could get those guys and pair tj tampa with deontay banks with cordell flot in the slot bring back xavier mckinney dane belton pinnock man that's one heck of a secondary man will he come in and be deion sanders no but he will be 
that physical outside corner for people like an A.J. Brown when Deontay Banks needs a breather. We can put Banks and his physical size on Smith and see what we can do against those guys, man. T.J. Tampa, and he is a thumper when it comes to tackling. He will put his nose in there to make a tackle. So, T.J. Tampa, Iowa State cornerback. Welcome to the New York Giants. Let's get a cornerback tandem that is worthy of being out there on the field in fear. T.J. Tampa, welcome to the New York Giants. With the 47th pick, the New York Giants select Cooper Beebe, offensive guard, Kansas State. All right, Giants fans, as you heard with the number 47 pick, the New York Giants select offensive guard from Kansas State, Cooper BB, and I am excited about this pick. I believe is an actual pretty good steal to get him with the 47th pick. Cooper BB is an absolute menace. He is an absolute nasty individual, and we need somebody like that with our offensive line to help whoever the quarterback is to block with the offensive guard. We need two guard positions. I believe he can fill one of the right guard or left guard positions from day one. He, he Man, he's just a nasty individual. He puts people on their butts. And I really think he can help out John Michael Schmitz. And then I think I, I will put him right between Andrew Thomas and uh, John Michael Schmitz. So Andrew Thomas can, you know, give him a little bit of that veteran presence so he can learn and, and be that dominant force we we need him to be on the offensive line like i said he's very nasty he can pull he's very athletic for his size and i just think he changes this offensive line man so cooper bb number 47 we get a guard that's very nasty he finishes plays man look at the absolute joy he has of putting people on their butts man so we get some nastiness on the offensive line, and this is one step uh, towards getting the, the trenches fixed here with the New York Giants. So, Cooper BB, pick number 47, New York Giants. Welcome to the Giants, kid. Let's go out there and block somebody. With the 70th pick, the New York Giants select Adisa Isaac, Edge, Penn State. All right, as you heard, with the 70th pick in the NFL draft, the New York Giants select Adisa Isaac, Edge from Penn State, Brooklyn native, and I do believe this guy will be a factor with this New York Giants pass rush with him, Thibodeau Ojolari. Hopefully we get a free agent like a Daniel Hunter or anyone of, so, of such. I do believe this guy will be able to learn, especially if we get Daniel Hunter, because I believe he can actually learn a lot from Daniel Hunter because they have a similar build and a similar play style. And I do believe this guy can turn in to be something very, very special for this team. He, when, when he comes to this team, man, the reason why I think he goes to the third round is he, he doesn't have a lot of pass rush moves. But if we could get that veteran on this team and he could come in and be a pinch hitter, in the beginning of his career, I believe this pick would turn out to be very, very interesting for the New York Giants. Like I said, he's a Brooklyn native. He knows the New York area. He knows he will probably know how to, you know, handle the media. And with this guy being a pinch hitter, maybe being the third or fourth edge rusher on this team, that would be a dynamite edge rush if we can have Thibodeau with a veteran like a Brian Burns. Or I would prefer Daniel Hunter if we get a, a Disa Isaac. And man, the things that he can learn from Daniel Hunter, and he can turn into be that guy opposite of Thibodeau after Hunter leaves, or hey, if Ojalari gets his health issues fixed, we can get some things done there as well. But Adisa Isaac, Penn State edge rusher, I'm really intrigued by this pick here early in the third round. Very good value. Welcome to the team, and let's get after the quarterback. With the 108th pick in the NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Christian Mahogany, offensive guard, Boston College. All right, with the 108th pick, man, in this mock draft, the New York Giants select offensive guard Christian Mahogany from Boston College. And I do believe this is one heck of a pick to get here at 108. We get another nasty guard that can pull, has long arms, 
and had had a heck of a combine, man. Christian Mahogany, I believe, is a steal here at 108. If we can get him and, and Cooper BB on this offensive line, man, and we can get those guys up to speed. Christian Mahogany, I do trust that putting him at right guard next to Evan Neal at right tackle. And we'll see what we have with those two gentlemen on this offensive line. Another nasty guard, another nasty individual. He just finishes off blocks. Super athletic, man. And like I said, with those long arms and his lower, his base is very low for, for our offensive guard, which gives him mad leverage when it comes to blocking for whoever the quarterback is for this team uh, next year moving forward. So I like this pick, Christian Mahogany here at 108. Another nasty guard. Hey, we get two offensive guards in this in this draft to fix this offensive line, and let's see what those guys can do moving forward. But Christian Mahogany, let's put some hands somebody in the on somebody in the trenches, and let's get rolling. With the 140th pick in the NFL draft, the New York Giants select Cedric Gray, linebacker, North Carolina. All right, at pick 140, the New York Giants select Cedric Gray, inside linebacker, North Carolina, and I love this pick at 140 here in the fifth round. Very good value. Hey, we got very good value from another guy that we got uh, in the later rounds, Michael McFadden. I believe we got him in the fourth round as well, or the fifth round, one of the uh, one of the two, but. Cedric Gray here in the fifth round gives us some depth at the inside linebacker position and keeps that youth movement going. And with Bobby O out there on the field teaching those guys how to get after it, how to make those tackles, this guy right here is very good in coverage. And also he can run sideline to sideline. Very, very intense type guy. Has a nose for the football as well, man. Around North Carolina, he made some sacks and he got a lot of turnovers. Got some fumble recoveries. Got a couple of interceptions. I like this guy coming off the bench for us. He can definitely give us some special teams value in the very, very beginning of, of his career. And let's let him compete with Michael McFadden to see who can play opposite of Bobby O. I love this pick here late in the fifth round, late in the draft here. This kid can actually turn out to be pretty good for us, man. And the linebacker rotation of Gray, McFadden, and Bobby O, I think we got some good things going, man, with that linebacker rotation. So, Eric Gray, pick 140 for the New York Giants. Welcome to the linebacker crew. Shout out to Big Blue Lou Blitz Squad. Let's go get after the quarterback and let's stop the run, which he can do as well, shoot those gaps when Big Dexter Lawrence and, and, and those other guys are opening up holes. So let's get after the quarterback. Let's stop the run game. Eric Gray, welcome to the New York Giants. With the 185th pick in this year's NFL Draft in the sixth round, the New York Giants select Jawar Jordan, running back, Louisville. Okay, the Giants with their final pick in the NFL Draft and number 185, they select Speedster, running back from Louisville, Jawar Jordan, man, and this guy is a home run hitter. Is he a feature back in the NFL? Time will tell, but I know one thing, this guy can hit the hole, and when he hits the hole, he's going through there, and he's going there with speed, speed, speed. We can use this guy in many different ways. Let's say if we do lose lose Saquon Barkley we can use Jawar Jordan in the passing game he's very electric let's get him some screens he's very slippery and it has more power in his run game than you would think with his slender and small frame but man when this guy gets in the open field nobody's going to catch him and also what he brings is the kick return and punt return ability that we need on special teams to get the special teams back to where we are very good and if we have another running back, say Cedric Gray, if he's the power type back, we can do this guy, put this guy in the game, and he brings a speed element that we haven't seen with the New York Giants for a little while since Saquon Barkley in, the, in his rookie year. He had that electric speed like that, but he has lost a step due to the injuries and everything. So if we don't bring Saquon back, Barkley back, we can still get that wild element with Jawar Jordan on the field. 
and this guy has speed to burn and he will not be caught from behind if he gets into the secondary so Jawar Jordan we draft him last pick of the draft special teams guy and he can be the change of pace guy in our offense when it comes to the running game and he has speed 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 so Jawar Jordan welcome to the New York Giants and that's the end of this NFL uh, 2024 first mock draft for Big Pass Sports Talk with the New York Giants full seven round. Thank you guys for watching, and until the next episode, you know what it is, man. Peace.